Hi Ivydale. I'm reading a story today which is about a little boy that gets really really cross. Now we were talking to our class at one of the Google meets the other day about trying some breathing exercises where you breathe in, you hold your breath and then you breathe out again to calm you and I think this little boy could do with doing some of that breathing. Here we go. It's called Angry Arthur. It's by a man called Hyowin Oram and it's illustrated by Satoshi Kitamura. It's quite an old book but I love it. I love the expression on our Arthur's face. He's so cross. Angry Arthur it's called. Once there was a boy called Arthur. He wanted to stay up and watch a western on TV. So he wants to watch his favourite television programme. But his mother comes in and says, no, it's too late. Go to bed. I'll get angry, said Arthur. Go on, she said. Get angry. So he did. Very angry. Can you see all the lightning mark signs, um, lines all over the place? Very, very angry. He got so angry that his anger became a storm cloud, exploding thunder and lightning and hailstones, all in his living room. That's enough, said his mother, looking at the mess. But it wasn't. Out Arthur goes, outside his house, stomp, stomp, stomp. He's so cross. Arthur's anger became a hurricane, hurling rooftops and chimneys and church spires. Can you see everything being toppled just because Arthur's angry? That's enough, said his father. There's his father, but it wasn't. There he is, can you see him? Top of the tree, still cross. Arthur's anger became a typhoon tipping whole towns into the sea. You see the boat that's gone into the sea. That's enough, said his grandfather. And you see he's clinging to a raft and there's Arthur, but it wasn't. Arthur's anger became an earth tremor, cracking the surface of the earth like a giant cracking an egg. That's enough, said his grandmother. And there she is knitting in space. You see the ball of wool. But it wasn't. There he is. Arthur's still cross. Mm, Arthur's anger became a universe quake. And in this picture, you can see there's lots of pictures of Arthur. It looks like he's shaking. And lots of pictures of his little friend, the cat. And the earth and the moon and the stars and the planets. And Arthur's country and Arthur's town, his street, his house, his garden and his bedroom. Look, they're all tumbled out into the universe. Were nothing more than bits in space. Arthur sat on a piece of Mars and thought and thought and thought. Why was I so angry? He thought. He never did remember. Can you? The end. Can you remember why he was so cross? because he wanted to watch a television programme. Seemed a long time ago now. See you soon. Bye bye.